As we approach the end of this oftentimes seemingly cursed year, I want to end things on a positive note. I want to tell you about 10 plus 1 technologies that blew my mind and made me feel like we are entering an era that belongs to science fiction movies. I'm Dr. Bertala Meshko and you're watching The Medical Futurist. As we go through this list, I want you to know that I have personally seen all these technologies in action and I hope soon you can experience using them too. Now, let's see what it feels like to meet science fiction. 3D printed drugs 3D printing is ready to disrupt Big Pharma with its groundbreaking technology. The UK biotech company FabRx goes as far as to say that there is no drug type posing them an invincible barrier. In practice, that would be a game changer with major implications for the entire healthcare system. FabRx says that their technology could appear in hospitals and pharmacies to create personalized drugs in specific dosages within 5 to 10 years. It's hard to believe, but the biggest challenge for 3D printing is not the technology itself, but rather the regulatory environment. There are strict requirements in bringing pharmaceutical products to the market and the regulators will need to adapt to and accept printing as a method of manufacture. They even printed out octopus-shaped meds for kids to persuade them to take the bad-tasting pills. Smartwatch ECG Zsolt Varga, an IT professional from Budapest, received an Apple Watch last Christmas. When he put on the device, it notified him of a previously undiscovered arrhythmia that can lead to blood clots, stroke or heart failure. Thanks to the watch, he was diagnosed early, managed to take preventive actions, and now his physician monitors his condition well before any complications arise. There are stories like that from all over the world. Years ago, as a medical student, I tossed around that ECG cart to patients, getting the results on paper, and now I can do an ECG by touching my smartwatch. Portable ultrasound Can you imagine doing an ultrasound scan in your home? No need for a doctor's appointment, no waiting time, no travel costs. In the last few years, accurate, pocket-sized, portable ultrasound devices have come to the market and they are game-changers. They have fulfilled the biggest promise of the digital health revolution, turning patients into the point of care and bringing the hospital wherever it's needed. And some portable ultrasound devices guide the user how to perform the scan properly with artificial intelligence. Can you believe that? I can, because I used it. Mixed reality HoloLens opens up radically new ways for medical education, as it is able to project the human body in its full size in front of students. I used to do autopsies myself, but with mixed reality, the organs, the arteries and bones are visible accurately in 3D, and future medical professionals can analyze their shape and their characteristics immensely better than they could from a book. Another way of making use of HoloLens is applying it in the pre-operative planning phase of operations. Physicians could plan their entire intervention using 3D holograms, where they could properly see the spaces for making incisions and also cl clearly envision the consequences of their moves. Digital Twin when astronaut John Swigert from the Apollo 13 announced infamously that OK Houston, we had a problem here, and the people at NASA received a series of mechanical problems that a spaceship had, they started to look for solutions on a physical replica that provided them with the same set of tools the astronauts had. This proved crucial in the Apollo 13 mission where engineers on Earth could determine the issue and find a solution in that replica. A digital twin works by the same principle. The idea is that, with the advent of AI and with powerful computing, we can model the physiological data of patients and create digital replicas of their organs and perhaps later the whole human body. This could open up doors for more precise personal care. A few years ago, when I was in Copenhagen at a Siemens technical demonstration, I was astonished when I saw how they administered medications to a digital heart replica of a real patient and how the heart responded to it. Imagine that you have a condition and they could test medications on a digital replica before they administer it to you. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Sleep tracking and smart sleep alarms Sleep tracking with a smart sleep alarm is one of those things that you don't think it's too big of a deal, but it's actually a game changer. 
Studies have linked improper sleeping habits to increased risk of cancer, suppressed immune system, and even to Alzheimer's. A sleep tracker allows you to manage your sleep and improve on it to reach the best quality of sleep possible. The smart sleep alarm, on the other hand, helps waking you up all fresh and ready to seize the day. The trick is to wake you up at the right sleep cycle. I don't have to describe to you what it feels like to wake up from deep sleep. But waking up from light sleep means you are ready for a day like Spongebob on a Monday morning. Digital pills We take all kinds of medications, but we lose track of them once we swallow them. Now, imagine that you take a pill with a microchip in it and ingest it with a glass of water. Soon, the pill starts to broadcast a real-time information stream as it goes down your throat and into your stomach. Your GP is simultaneously monitoring the data, assessing what happens to the medication in your body. Whether it was taken by you, how your body metabolizes it, and how long its effects last. Don't worry, it's not the mark of the beast. You won't have to take that medication, but in some medical conditions, its benefits can be huge. Medical drones. Time is crucial in healing, no matter whether it's about a natural disaster, heart attack, or an organ transplant. In future medical emergencies, where urgent response will be necessary, drones will mean the fastest answer. They will fly the extra mile in delivering drugs, vaccines, blood, organs, or medical equipment. In Rwanda, we've already seen them in action, where the digital health savvy government uses medical drones to bring healthcare to the rural parts of the country where infrastructure is poor and hospitals and pharmacies are rare. In the US, Amazon recently opened its first pharmacy, so soon you will see their drones delivering medications too. Genome Sequencing As a geneticist, I'm a huge advocate for direct-to-consumer whole genome sequencing and genetic tests. My genome sequencing shed light on my inherited diseases, health-related risks, medication sensitivities, and offer tips on how to be more in sync with my own genetic code, for example, with a diet that best serves my metabolism. In the future, this should be such a basic tool as a urine or a blood test, and it's an absolute goldmine for creating an effective preventive plan. And personalized medicine will also be built upon the foundations of data from whole genome sequencing. With my genetic counselor and my primary care physician, we have designed a preventive plan to try to avoid what is avoidable. At-home lab tests. The first time I used an at-home lab test and I was able to assess that I have food sensitivity, I realized what a huge impact this technology will have on healthcare and I marked it as one of the top technologies for 2020. And then the you-know-what came, and a myriad of companies started to work on at-home lab tests. And the first one was just approved by the FDA. It means soon you will have to learn how to do blood tests at home out of a blood drop. Believe me, it's much better than to get your blood taken at a hospital. AI in public health. And now for the big one. The technology that's out of this world and the effects of AI in healthcare will be immense. First of all, healthcare systems are burdened with a large amount of paperwork. AI-powered systems that help transform the words of physicians into medical records will easily make this problem obsolete. AI has been used to detect disease outbreaks as early as possible using incredible amounts of data from national databases and airline ticketing services. AI tools can also be used to identify patterns that can easily be missed by human eyes as well as traditional systems. AI is being used to mine medical records, to organize virtual clinical trials, to find new drug combinations nobody has ever thought of, and the list goes on. AI will basically change everything in healthcare that uses data. I know that we at The Medical Futurist always emphasize the importance of the cultural transformation that is going on in healthcare. But even in these hard times, it's nice to remember what lies ahead and that there are technologies to be hopeful about and excited about. So if you enjoyed this little glimpse into the future, follow our channel and if you think we missed something, leave a comment. Thank you.